princess was something that the Europeans projected onto us. We never had princesses. When they first came here, they were lost. They were looking around. Where are we? And they saw the Skijinu came out. And it was the women who came to greet him. And of course, in Europe at the time, women were second class. They were servants of men. There's no such thing as women being in charge of anything. So then they, they, uh, they asked the women, where's your leader? They want to talk to the leader. So I mean, Europeans, they, they believe in one leader. One man runs everything. The king, King Jemis, he runs it all. And so they thought over here, oh, that must be how these people are. They have their one king. Where's your king? Where's your leader? And Apijik, they couldn't understand. Donegal. So they asked for their communicator, a person that can speak all of the dialects, and they call him Zogam. It comes from Zogaleu, Zogalinaksu, somebody who has the strength and the ability to travel the rivers and, and go all these different places and keep the communities aware of what's going on with each other. So Zogam is the one they called forward. So then they brought him forward. So they took the communicator up who could speak the dialects. And he, had, he was the big strong body. And of course, we're, we're a family-oriented culture. He had his daughter. So from the European perspective, oh, this is their king. He's not. He's a servant. The clan mothers tell people what to do. Well, the council tells people what to do. They bounce it off the clan mothers. They have the ability to say, Ndama, or Aha, and then it happens. When it happens, it's given to the communicator to take a delegation of people to let the other communities know what's going on. So they have to be strong enough to get to places and get there in a timely manner so that they can get the news out. That's why our traditions were always, there's a welcome song whenever they see a delegation coming. Now, one person couldn't canoe all that way by themselves. So that's why there'd be a whole team and a delegation of people going to switch off on the canoes and carry any loads that they have. Whenever they came up the river, that's what the welcome song is. Aliad, Aliad Guan Ode. Welcome, traveler. And then they welcomed them, had a song, and the whole community let them eat, let them sleep, and the next day is when they had their meetings, after they got a rest. Then they would, they would uh, have their answer, rest, and the next day, they would leave and go to another community. And that community would welcome them. Aliyad, Aliyad, Guanu de. The song of welcome. Aguanu means welcome in our language. So that's what happened. That communicator was nothing more than a servant of the people. He wasn't a person that sat in the office and pointed and told things like the king. But these Europeans said, oh, he's their king. He only tried to communicate what they were saying. And of course, he had his daughter. So in Europe, the king's daughter is what? Princess. Princess. So when they come over here and they saw Wodzakum with his daughter, oh, she must be the princess. And of course, in Europe, the king, his family is the royal family. They have the most beautiful. They're the smartest. They're the strongest. They only say that because they're afraid to get beheaded if they don't. So over here, they say the princess is the most beautiful of all the girls in the community because it's the king's or the Zagam's daughter. No, 